everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play. It's good to see you. It's Mike, Ollie, and we're playing Shaolia Warring States. It's a game. We're yeah. playing. It's totally not Asia. It's no. It's we don't. It's a Korean game, mm. and we're doing this for their Kickstarter campaign that's coming up. It looks and, really cool. Yeah, it was. Well, it was nice because uh, the designer of this game, Gan Ho Kim. Who's from Korea. Did we get it right? Did we get it right? Am I getting this information correct? Anyway, he uh, he reached out to me to look at this game, which was nice, because that means he's seen my stuff and he liked it, I guess. Did you like it? Hi. I require validation. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing um, is he sent me this beautiful prototype, which is really nicely produced, yeah. actually, for a prototype. I was very impressed. And um, I read the rule book and I thought it, was, it seemed pretty cool to me. So we're now playing it head-to-head, two-player game. Probably takes about an hour. There's five scenarios in the box. Four of them are for two players. One, and they sort of gradually sort of introduce new rules or sort of slightly realign the focus of the game. And then the four, fifth scenario is for 2v2, four, 2v2 team play. Yep. Yeah. And we do have the uh, the means for that. The, we do have the boards for that, but we don't have um, the, players, the space. Currently. The players are the space, yeah. Mm. But um, it looks really exciting. Um, it, it, I mean... It's incredibly well designed, like functionally at this point, and uh, we've had a quick playthrough to see if we get get our hand, heads around it. And um, <laughs> it's the the nice combination of we can simple, say. To, pick, simple to pick up, <laughs> but probably going to be difficult to master. We can safely say that it functions as a game, which is more than we could say for some other prototypes we've played for this show. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> we've we had a few games where we're like, I don't know if we're playing this right at all. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of them are final retail copies, too. So in this game, we're going to be building up like a sort of a, a city or a town uh, here with different kinds of buildings that have different functionalities. Yep. So we're going to be purchasing cards and things and then building them. And then we'll be rolling dice to activate them a la Machikara or something like that. So we'll have stuff like mines, schools, blacksmiths, barricades, soldiers. And in this version, uh, we're going to have wonders. Yep, we've got to, so we're playing scenario three, overwhelming power, because this is the there's out of the uh, the, the scenarios we looked at. The first one's kind of like tutorial mode; mm. and doesn't use some of the extra elements. The second one is um, got all the extra elements, but it's a bit sort of faster. It's all about resource generation. Rush, rush, exactly right. Um, this one, overwhelming power, is a bit slower paced. It gives you access to the more powerful cards, so it's sort of about maintaining the balance and not getting left behind by as your opponent levels up really quickly, mm. or or expands and builds up really quickly. And then the fourth scenario is called trade wars, and it's all about this sort of trade board and economy. So usually there are two ways to win: you destroy your opponent's palace, or you reach eighteen on the culture. Yeah. So in this version of the game, there is a third win condition, which is to have three wonders on your board. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That seems implausible. I mean, you were doing quite well until you curb stomped my palace in the face with your giant elephant's foot. Well, what happened was I built a wonder, which was a war elephant in our practice game. And, and then it was just... <laughs> yeah, and then I could have tried to build two more wonders, but it was far more efficient to just send the elephant to stomp on Ollie's palace till it was rubble. It was quite annoying because I'd have been like, oh, soldiers, oh, soldiers. And then it was like, school, school, philosopher... Oh, I've got lots of culture. And then all of a sudden, Mr. Warlike over here comes with an elephant and kicks my palace in. Shall we roll a die to see who's going to be first player? Yeah. Um, the game says who, the most regal player goes first. Which is clearly me, but clearly he disagrees. Oh, uh, you're the... Uh, <laughs> it's just what it says clearly me. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Do it. No, do it. No, I don't want do to do it. Anymore. Do the sass. Do oh, the okay. thing. I was going to say, uh, you know, if we were kings or whatever, um, you know, I'd be like, um, I was going to say I'd be like the Jamie Lannister, but he was never a king. He was the King Slayer. Yeah. I was going to say you'd be like the Robert Baratheon. I mean, at least I got to be king. <laughs> it's true. You got to be king. Yeah. I never got to be king. Aw. Shall we roll for it? Uh, yes. Um, oh, one thing. For the gold tokens. We'll talk just... about that in a minute oh, when okay. we get to... The thing. Are you rolling your D10? Or you I'm rolling? rolling my D10. Big numbers. Woo! Six. Nine. <gasps> um, I think mine's a six. Yeah. So you get to be the first player. Here's the flag. Told you I was more regal. You are more regal. Well, but that's that's why you are the, the Baratheon and I'm just Jamie Lannister. I've even been practicing my wave. <laughs> Come, peasants. <laughs> Aren't you pleased to see me? Um, uh, so... 
for this scenario then. So we start with um, we start with two character cards. Yep. yep. These so character cards are like sort of uh, bonuses and things that we can we can make. They are pretty cool. Um, they're also potentially very killable, so you need to protect them. So one well, they're you, either one shot one abilities one you, or they're one like one sort of bonus buildings that you can make. Um, but you can also sell the cards for money if you don't like them. Hmm. Okay. Neat. Cool. So. Um, they're secret, so your opponent doesn't know what you got. Yep, and you only ever have two. Um, you can never get more than that, so your starting ones are the ones you've got. This is easy to see. Okay. So what we've got um, next is actually we start with five gold as well, and Ollie's already put the gold out on his board, but because what you're doing is, um, without going into too much detail, basically you're spending very small amounts of money, potentially one at a time, we actually thought it'd be far simpler to track our gold with uh, these dice, so we're not just going in and out of these bowls all the time. I'm putting them back. <laughs> so we've both got five gold, as indicated on our dice here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shall I put that somewhere we can see it? Uh, yeah. And there we go. So now we're ready to start playing. Yep. Um, so, first things first. Oh, no, we have to flip up the, 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 the level. These the are the level two cards. And there's the level two marketplace. We've got a smelter, Ooh. we've got a port, and we've got a, another port. So two ports and a smelter. So we can either try and trade up for them or discard them. Uh, in the first round, we can't afford them, so not happening. So I will start with my uh, my purchasing phase. So yep. I'm going to go one, drop, da, da, da. two. I'm going to try and make this interesting. <laughs> really difficult. Yeah, Ollie, be entertaining while you draw and analyze cards. Three. We're trying to make a show. Yeah, I, um... Ooh! How was that? <laughs> Ooh! I read the rules for this, and I was quite intrigued by it. So I'm, uh... I'm quite Ooh. excited to... Have it. Okay, so I'm gonna buy a card. You're not gonna go down on your dice each time? No, I'm just gonna do this more conveniently. And one more card. Neat. And then I'll go down to three. Two. Awesome. Right. So now it is build phase. Build phase. And so. the way this works is that Ollie gets to purchase first because he's the first player, then I purchase, then he builds and I build, and then um, it's going to be actions, yeah. actions. So actually one thing we should add, the um, version of the game we play changes as trade board, so these four cards at the bottom change depending on what version you're playing. So in our one we can sell culture, up to three cultures can be sold for four gold each, we can buy a level one card from the discard pile for one gold um, with max of two. Or you can buy the first turn, which costs five gold. Or you can hire an assassin who can basically just kill off someone. Yeah, that's basically to get rid of um, an annoying OP character. hero codes. The um, what, as you'll know, as you'll know from my incredibly great rules and setup video, um, the composition of the level two deck and trade board are both scenario specific, which is quite nice. So I'm buying a farm and some infantry, which annoyingly have the same result. That I need to roll on the dice, which is really annoying. I feel like I'm going for Sparta again. Sparta! Yeah, Ollie was uh, all about the military and the culture in our practice game. Until he decided to overtake me. And the reason we're using D10s for this, by the way, is because they have a zero on them. <laughs> um, which is not 10, it's acting as zero. Yeah, and at this point we've, we've not had enough gold to go over, like, nine. It's not come up. So I'm going to go down to zero to build two buildings. I'm going to build this blacksmith uh -oh. here in the forest. Uh-oh. And I'm going to build a barricade. Oh, for God's sake, Mike. Yes. <laughs> walls, walls. Did you shuffle these, by the way? Yes. Okay. I just want you to know this is your fault. <laughs> Shut it, you. <laughs> okay, so on the board, um, what I should say is there are three results for your palace that are any result can be used for it. So it's gain two gold, another gain two gold, and gain two officers. So no matter what we roll, we can always do those three actions and then it's just kind of at this point want two threes and then anything I mean that was not great so I'll go with farm farm I'll gain two officers and I'll gain two gold so so you go up to buy five gold and you get yep. two officers nice so the officers of these guys they allow me to change the dice result I really like this uh, mechanism I like basically anything that allows you to expend resources to mitigate luck. I'm a big fan of that because I quite like luck in games, but I also don't like it when you don't have a way of it's all accommodating luck. Luck, it. luck. God, there's sorry for all the traffic noises today, guys. It's very it's hot. Surprisingly busy. 
It's very muggy and hot today. Hwa! Excellent. I will have a mineral. <sighs> and I'll have some bodies. So I'll go up to four and take a stone. Damn you to Hades. All right, cool. And cool. now I will be first player. The betrayer. Ah. The king slayer. That's king slayer. Slaying kings. Um, but I'm I did doing, slay I'm Robert Baratheon. Um, Robert Baratheon was slain by my sister. Yes, who you are. Can I say that? I mean, does it count as a spoiler at this point? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how I don't... We'll, we will not spoil the Game of Thrones finale for those of you that haven't caught up somehow managing to avoid spoilers this However, the Red Wedding... <laughs> <laughs> I did Man, love... I had to work so I hard not to spoil that. <laughs> have to, oh, one thing I do want to say about this as well. I love the box art to this. The uh, elephant looks so evil. There are two box arts uh, to this, and this is the angry elephant one. Yeah. And uh, he's angry because he never forgets the crimes you committed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because an elephant never forgets. To kill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do your thing, sir. It's, uh... Forgets. <laughs> God, that's Futurama, isn't it? Yeah. The zookeeper. The zookeeper, that's right. That's the episode with Mark Hamill, isn't it? One of many. Um, Okay, so... um, God, what am I doing? Right, purchase phase. Purchase it. I'll purchase a a level one building. Just the one? I'm going to purchase another level one building. Gee, man. Oh my god, Ollie, did you show this? I did! You saw me do it! (laughs) Did I? Did I? Alright, so that's two I just purchased, isn't it? Yes. Running total. All right, and then I'm going to spend this crystal for two officers. I dislike you already. All right, card. Interesting. Card. Interesting. Oh. But I'm starting to think that I shuffle these. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the nature of shuffling, isn't it? Okay. 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 On to you. All right, we're in the build phase, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm going to build two things As here. As we said, quick pace game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although oh, I imagine awesome. the four-player version is going to be a lot more AP. So I'll spend two to build two things. I'm going to okay. build a school, which is a thing that allows you to get culture when you put a dice down on it. I t- realize I've totally been forgetting to show these cards to this camera. Um, Gee, Mike, I even did both of mine together to show the numbers they've got to roll. Anyone would think you forgot there was a camera there. So unprofessional. Um, and then for my second coin, I'm going to build another school. Okay. Culture rush. <laughs> Fine. Do you know what I'm going to build? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going to build two barricades. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Good luck attacking me. I'll get my war elephant out. He's What's the one? angry yes. and never forgets to kill. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, action more. phase? Yeah. Brilliant! Uh, I've got Is a four. Useful? And a one. Oh no. And a five. Oh no! Spending the officer to modify the six. Oh no! So I'm going to go up to two culture. Boo! And I'm going to gain a mineral. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like this. I really don't. Okay, that's a four. That's a four. <laughs> that's going to get me two officers. So you're spending the two officers and then getting them right back. Spent and retrieved. <laughs> Three gold. Puts me to four. And I'm going to deal one damage to your barricade. I realize I've got no money. This is really bad. <clears throat> I am less upset about that. Give me back my throne. Right. Purchasing. Um, right. Yes, you are back in charge, aren't you? Yes. One. Ooh. Uh, hmm. hmm. I'm gonna spend one to guard this. And set up a new one. So that puts me down two. Ooh, what does the garden do? Gain one culture when a culture card activates on your territory. <gasps> That's very good. So, and then the other card we've got is the gym, which is basically beefing up your soldiers. Yeah. And you can tell a culture card because of these little culture symbols in the top corner there. That's pretty good. Good for um, me to poop on. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah. So, Do you not know, um, what's his name? You guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to use my shaman to take a level one and a level two card of my choice from the discard pile. Ah, oh, I had that in the practice game and it's so good. Yep, I'm taking this smelter. Ta-da! That's my biphase. Okie dokie. Over to yours. Oh, over to me. Okay, well, I seem to have no money, but that's okay, because I've got a plan. Is it a cunning plan? Yeah. I doubt it. So. So. I'm just trying to think, actually, if there's a better way around this, because... I hope not. I had this cunning plan, and now I think that it's actually, um... Less cunning. No, it's not that it's less cunning. I just feel like it might be a super inefficient way of doing it. Only one way to find out. Damn it, screw it up. Go on. No? Or not? Uh, yep, we'll we just might have to close those windows. Yeah. Because your neighbours are insanely loud. Yeah. Keep the noise down! <laughs> okay, so this is my plan. It's uh, I'm going to see if it's going to work out. You have a plan? Yeah, I do. Is it a cunning plan? Is it as cunning as a fox that's pr the professor of cunning at Cunnington University? Right. My okay. cunning plan... <laughs> is um, it's not that cunning to be honest, Ollie. I don't know if, what it's actually going to achieve for me, but uh, I'm going to play the merchant card, which allows me to trade with two trading posts. Ooh. And presumably, I can just do this immediately, even though this is an action. I, I assume so. So this merchant's going to allow me to do two trading post actions, uh. and I can use that out of phase, even though this is a, like an action that you normally do in the action step by activating the port, for example. Um, I can do it now. Um, which I'm going to do. I don't like how this is going. Um, so I'm going to do these two trades, and they're going to make an awesome, awesome play tomorrow on Ready to Steady Play. So <gasps> tomorrow, we'll... tomorrow. That means I've got to keep the card there, so you remember what you're doing. Tomorrow we'll take turns. Tomorrow I'll lose my crown tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow, everyone. Thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs> uh, don't kill me with your minions.